I am going to start showing you how I created an application with Flask and Surreal DB. So as you can see, I have already created five items and you will see the three item has a bug in it. I will fix it in a second. I will say that item six has a price of 60. So I will create it and you can see how the item shows up there. If I reload the page, all the items are still there. I will actually fix this typo in three. So now it's called three. And I will set up the price to be 30. Check this out. As soon as I reload, it has already been updated. So if I make a change to five, and then we call it super five, and we set the price to be 500, check this out again. The price is already there if you update the page. So this has an intelligent, smart way of updating the fields that you have here. You can also go ahead and delete. So if I delete item four, it's gone. I'm going to delete item six now. So this one here, it's gone. And of course, when I reload the page, everything is as it should be. So this is the CRUD. I can read all the items, update them, delete them, and obviously, as I shown before, you can create new items. Now comes the code. I'm going to show it to you. It is straightforward. I created a Flask application where I import different parts of the Flask library that I will use. I create the app here. And then I like to split my route into different files. So this route here will give, give me the front page. So that will be this get index. What you see is that route. Then I have a route that will delete the item. That's when I click on this trash can. Another route that is the patch item. That's when I update it. So if I do 3x and then the price 300, that is the route that I just hit there. And then the post item, that's when I create a new item that has been done up there before. So if I show you the get index file, you can see that I have imported this Surreal DB. This is my own invented driver. I will show you that in a second. And right here I have the route, the method is get. And this is the SQL um, Surreal query that says select everything from item, order it by the created ad and the sending. And this zero result is what I get out from the database. And that is what I want to render on that page. So items is what I selected from the database. Let me show you now how I, how I actually create an item. So that will be the post. This is pretty nice. You will see how this is done. By the way, all the code is on GitHub. So check out the link underneath this video. Again, here I import from Surreal DB, this DB function. Again, this is something that I invented. So you will see that in a second, as I mentioned. And here you have the method post. And what I do to make it secure, to avoid injections, I create a variable called name, where I get the item name from the HTML form. I create a variable called price, where I get the item price from the HTML form. And then over here, I create the, seek, the surreal query that says create item set. I set the name, the price, and the created that, which is the actual time. Then I get the response back from the database. And that's what I pass back to the front end. Just for you to see it, I have taken care of printing this item. So if I print item, you will see that I get this response out. And that's why if I analyze it with you, you can see from the DB response minus one, this will be the last element, which will be that one. That's the minus one from the list. From the sorry from the dictionary then i will get the result the result is all this key which is an array and then i get actually it's called a list in python and from there from the list i get the index zero which will be that one 
And what you see highlighted is what I pass to the front end. So the front end can use this ID and actually put it as part of this line here or there or there. So that's the creation of the item. Let me show you what happens when we get all the items here that I already did, sorry. The delete item. So when the trash can is clicked, again, to make it secure, I define a variable called let item ID, which will be the ID that I get from the form. And then I execute the surreal query, which says just delete the variable item ID. And this is what I pass back to the front end. So all in all, you can go and check the code from GitHub. The most important thing about it is this surreal DB that I created. As you can see, this is my driver. I think this is the key of the whole video. At the moment, there are no drivers for Python that I am aware of for surreal DB. So I created my own. And this is what I do. I just import requests. That means that you will have to install this file. Just a little bit so you can see the requirements. You can see that I have the request in there. And what I do in the surreal DB, let me just open it again here. I say that the base URL is going to be this one. You cannot change it unless you have changed the port for surreal DB, but basically this is the default one. We're going to use the namespace called company, the database name called company, the username is admin, the password is password. And then this is the whole driver where I actually have the namespace set up, the database set up, and then this is how I connect to SurrealDB. I don't have to explain all the code to you, you just have to use it. And if something goes wrong in the code, it will raise an exception. Now, this video contains this line of code. As of today, this line is not necessary anymore. This is the one that should be in place, but I have both just to show it to you. So this is how I created my own, how I invented my own driver and how I, how I created the CROD with Flask. As a side note, just for you to run it, I can tell you that my Flask server is running. Here is the virtual environment that's running. And this is the Python app.py. It could just look like that. So I'm running the server. I can also show you that the surreal server, I will just kill it now. To run it, this is the command that you have to run. So you have to type all these. I will also put this command in the video description. So that is already running. And that's the surreal server. And I have the surreal DB client, which is a client for the terminal. I will kill it again. And then I run this command. It will also be on the GitHub, on the link, sorry, on the link underneath the video. And then when I run this, of course, you can just go and do a SQL query, a surreal query, select all from item, for example. And then you should see all the items that we have created during this video. So that's about the application. This is the key to the whole thing, the surreal DB file. I really hope that you liked it. I hope that you enjoy this nice CRUD application that you see here. And of course, I will be really thankful if you consider to subscribe. I will just thank you with a happy face there because it helps me a lot if you subscribe, get notifications and you like the video. So that's about it for the video. And thank you very much.